Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the Corona decals in Corona Render 8. With the Corona decals, we can project textures and material to any surface in our project. We can easily add details and imperfections without using any UV map. To create a new Corona decal, click the Corona decal button in the Corona toolbar to select it. This shortcut is going to select the C decal button in the Modify panel. With the C decal selected, click and drag in any view to create the decal bot. After this, we're going to assign a material to the decal bot. We can assign any material. For example, if we assign a Corona physical material without a texture, the top of the decal bot is going to show the base color of the material. We can see that all the objects inside of the bounding bot have the color projected into their surface. For this example, we will assign to the Corona decal a material of parking lot lines, which includes a base color and an opacity map. In this case, the top of the decal bot is updated to show the texture with opacity. We have two options to control the mask or opacity. The first one, front material, is going to use the assigned texture in the opacity map of the decal material. The next option, map, is going to allow us to assign a different texture or map. For example, if we assign this checker material, we can see how the projection changes. To continue with this example, we're going to select front material. To modify and adjust the size of the decal bot, we're going to use the width and height parameters. We can also use rotate and move to adjust the position of the decal. It is also possible to use the aspect ratio of any image by selecting the fit to bitmap button. Or we can use the aspect ratio of the assigned material by pressing the fit to assign material button. The depth limit is used to change the depth of the projection bot. Any object outside of this bot will be excluded from the vehicle projection. If you want to change the angle of the projection and exclude the back faces of the objects, we can modify the matte angle limit. For example, we can change it to 45 and we can see that only the top surfaces of the objects will show the decals. This option can be used along with the matte angle blur to create a blur edge. We can see how the edge is now blending with the other objects. By default, the Corona decal is going to be projected on all the objects in the scene, but we can change this by using the Object Exclude button. To exclude an object, we need to press the plus button and then click the object. To remove the object from the exclusion, click the Object Selected button and in the new panel, select the object you want to remove and then the corresponding arrow button. You can also use this panel to exclude more than one object at the same time. Or if you prefer, you can change the list to include by selecting the Include Radio button. When the Replace Base Displacement is off, the decal displacement is going to be added on top of the base displacement. But if we turn on the Replace Base Displacement option, only the decal material displacement will be used. The Replace Base Bump works in a similar way. When it's off, the decal bump will be added on top of the base material bump. And when it's on, the decal bump textures will be used. When we have multiple Corona decals, we can modify the order of the projection by changing the height of the decal. You can think of this as the layers in Photoshop. The decals on the top will be added to the decals on the bottom. This can help us to organize and stack multiple Corona decals. We can see in this example how the handicap texture is added on top of the other decals by moving the decal higher. We can also do the same with the row third that is added on top of the parking lines. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.